It's the NFL on EA Sports. And our focus is on Jerome Baker. He put up numbers last week with a nine tackle performance. It's the Dolphins and the Panthers. And it kicks off next on Madden NFL 24. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. Today, we've got a week six matchup for you here, as it'll be the Carolina Panthers taking on the Miami Dolphins. Hi, everyone. Brandon Gordon, Charles Davis. Charles, you look at the Dolphins as they enter play in this one. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little bit. They're teetering a little bit, aren't they? And now things could really go south if they lose this game, so they understand the importance of playing well and stopping this streak. On the other side of the field for the visiting Panthers, they come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. And last weekend, they put one out in a very low-scoring affair. It was all about their defense. Set to go now in week six of the NFL season, and we are underway on EA Sports. And this will go as a touchback, and they will begin things at the 25. Now Tua Tungavailoa gets set to lead this Dolphins offense for the first time. Injuries overshadowed a great season from Tua last season. He led a Miami passing game that was one of the best in the league, and even more importantly, took them to the postseason for the first time in six years. That jump they were looking for from it, it absolutely occurred. All right. All right. Throwing to start here is Tua. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. A big play there on the first play of the game. 41 yards. I've heard of quick strike offenses, but this has taken that to the extreme. I mean, the very first snap of the ball game, normally you're thinking, let's get our quarterback comfortable and get him into the flow of the game, but not here. They come out attacking from the outset, and it pays off in a big way. And he'll work his way inside the 30 now to the 28. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here's second and three. Here's a toss left for a chain. And he will take it in from Dolphins touchdown. Devon A-Chain, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Dolphins march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. The point after threw the raindrops up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. So here are the Panthers set to take over for the first time, and Charles will get a look at the much-heralded rookie Bryce Young, the first overall pick from April's draft. And his stat line last week, that's not going to get him to the Pro Bowl. All right, no touchdowns, no interceptions, but they won. And so the bottom line for him is team won, managed the game effectively, led them to victory. He's doing all the right things. And Young's throw there incomplete. Cordero Patterson, the one he was hoping to get it to. But it's going to be second down. When you look at this defense, they've had their trouble stopping the run, Charles. Currently 29th in the NFL in that department. One thing you do know, you know they'll be fired up because they're facing a top five rushing attack. And even if they have early success against them, they got to remember, they got to sustain it because teams that are top five, they don't stop running the ball. They don't get things done early. They'll run it. Here's Cook. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? <laughs> it's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop on the first drive defensively. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and it'll be Dolphin football. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Now a dump off here complete. 
And that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Well, this defense for the Panthers, they were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. And one of the key numbers that I look at after every game, total yards allowed. They held them under 200 yards of total offense, just couldn't sustain much of anything against them. Great job showing them different looks and then attacking. 47 yards rushing for him now, just his first three carries. Here's Tonga Bailoa on first and 10. He dumps it off to Achu. And they'll get this just to the 47, one yard gain. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They'll wind up losing a couple yards here on the play, and that brings up third and a full 10 yards. Looking to pass to him. That's over the middle, caught by Chosen. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. Jake Bailey on now to punt here on fourth down. They punted three times in the loss last week as he sends this one away. The Panthers coming back out onto the field for their second drive. Now they entered play on a two-game win streak, and then they've got the open date on their schedule next week. So this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them, but go ahead and play this out with me, partner. If they win here and make it three in a row, they get to heal up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. There are the numbers for Cook from a week ago. 20 carries, 102 yards, and a touchdown. I think he's exactly where he wants to be coming into a game, partner, because he has to still be riding the momentum from last week when he broke the century mark in rushing and had one of his best individual efforts of the season. I would expect that there's more from him on the way after that type of a game. And I know his teammates and coaches, they feel exactly the same way. The Panthers at two and three here to begin the new season. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victory, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Hit and drop behind the line by Shelby Harris. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. Throwing, Young. This one left side caught by Patterson. And he's dropped right at the 40. Gain of three. You talk about this Miami defense. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And this group talks all the time about wanting to be better, getting stronger against the run. And to me, it all starts up front. You've got to win the line of scrimmage in order to play against the run very well. That throw by Young incomplete. That looks like it's going to be two empty possessions now to start this football game. I think they're going to have to sit down and talk about what worked for them last week in their win. Sometimes you over game plan, overthink things, get back to what works. This will be a 41-yard punt, three on the return. And it will be first and ten as they take over. So now the Dolphins set to take over on offense. They lost two straight coming in, but good news for them right now. They've got the lead and the football. Now left side on the swing pass. And they'll blow that one up back at the 16-yard line. Not what they had in mind there. That's going to go as a loss of four. Here's Tua. Out route to Hill complete. And he'll be just shy of the 20 and the 19 as he goes out of bounds. The Panthers turn to their nickel set here as they get ready for third down. Throwing now is Tungabailoa. Look at the big fella go. And finally marked down at the 42-yard line. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football as they've got it with a first and ten. Oh. 
And again, it's Tug of Iloa. That's caught by Chosen. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be second down. Going to the air, Tug of Iloa. Open man is Hill, he's got it. And down right around the 32-yard line, four yards on the pickup. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in, and it's a hard to defend. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That goes for a gain of 31. Here's Tonga Bailoa to throw. Touchdown! A great play there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Dolphins have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and it's now 14 to nothing. So that a seven-play, 80-yard drive, and it ends with a touchdown for the Dolphins. On the return, here's the dangerous Cordero Patterson. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Carolina offense about ready to go. And they have the game here followed by the open date on their calendar next weekend. And Charles, this is a crew that you have to think really is relishing the opportunity to be on the couch for a few days. Yeah, they certainly are. But let's face it, partner. They can't get caught looking ahead to that couch time while they're playing this one. They've got to take care of business first. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Patterson on the carry. 14 yards, good for a Panther first down. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Ready? First down, here's the run with Cook. A beautiful fake. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. If they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. No hurry before you run your second down play. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. Here's Patterson. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. The offense staying out. They're going to go on fourth and two. Now on fourth down here, that pass knocked away and incomplete. And the Panthers turned away on fourth down. And the Dolphins' defense is able to hold. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And thus far, the weather has not slowed this offense down one bit. They've looked good so far in the first half. They certainly have. And think back to our meeting with the head coach. And we asked him because we saw the forecast for this game, didn't we? We said, hey, have you prepared for this? And he talked about the different drills that they've done in adverse conditions, the wet ball drills, things of that nature. He said, I don't think it's going to slow us down much. We tend to handle it pretty well. And he's been right. Second catch for him today. And it'll wind up the first down. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. And throw over the middle, take it in. A 14-yard gain there as they look to improve this 14-point lead. Two and now on first down. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. And now a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try and pick up another first down. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. Waddle's first catch, good for a first down. 
two minutes to play. First half, it's 14 to nothing. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Two are going to throw. That's complete to Mostert out of the backfield. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. That's a good job there by the corner. We do talk about this a lot, that a lot of corners see their job as simply covering receivers. Tackling isn't everyone's thing. But in this case, he came up quickly and made a nice, sure tackle. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Two and now, third and goal. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Tyreek Hill, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 21 to zip. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Now it's Patterson. Now it's Patterson. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And you see Dalvin Cook in the offense heading back out. And we checked the rushing numbers so far here into week six, and the returns have been really good. Now, you're starting to hit that stride middle of the season toward the end. They're certainly hoping they can keep up this production. They are because one of the adages in the NFL is that defense travels and defense endures even in bad weather, right? You know what else does? A good running game. And people want that, especially as you head down the stretch. You may play outdoors in some nasty stuff. You're trying to get to the playoffs. This is the time to get it going. And individually, I don't think you should just think about 1,000 yards either. The bar has to be set higher with this beginning. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. Opted to run for it. The decision a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Young. Flush to his right. Open man right side is Sharp. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. A first down throw for Young. It's complete to Cook. Touchdown, Panthers. Dalvin Cook with career touchdown number 60. And the Panthers are on the board here in the final minute of the first half. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And they'll cut the lead to 21-7. The kickoff unit is out on the field and they will send this one away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Devon A. Chain in the offense ready to go once again. The passing game, they've had more success there than the running game. Maybe something they game plan for. How come they didn't tell us about it? Because they wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> we did ask, didn't we? But I think what happened in this one is they've realized that they've established the run pretty well, and teams are going to key on that. They thought they could open it up and have success through the air, and that's exactly what's going on. Yeah, they've had success at least so far here in the second quarter. And this time they'll just keep this on the ground. And most are going to pick up the Dolphins' first down as the tackle made up near the 35. So the two teams will head to the locker rooms here in Miami with the Dolphins on top. As we send you up to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks. A few teams starting to rise to the top as it's time to take you around the NFL here in week six. We'll get started over at Mercedes-Benz Stadium in downtown Atlanta. And that one getting close to halftime with the Falcons out in front. It's Desmond Ritter with a touchdown pass there. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And you can see they have the lead over the visiting Seahawks. 
a couple of touchdown passes there for Joe Burrow. Finally, let's get down to Houston. Check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. As you can see, the score there in the second quarter. Robert Woods, a touchdown reception. Coach, thank you very much as we welcome you back for quarter number three. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. And he won't quite make it to the 25. And the Panthers going to take over here to start quarter number three. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Emmanuel Agba there on the stop. Second down, they go right back to Cook. The Panthers have the first. It's a gain of 12. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Here's Cook again. No, oh, nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. 47 yards rushing for him now to this point. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. Swinging this out wide here for Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, that was a pretty favorable situation there. What would you call that, second and manageable? Smart play, too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down, and that's exactly what he did. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. It's a gain of five. Brings up second and five. Ready, ready. Claude Ray. Ready. Young now. Got a man. It's Patterson complete. And they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34-yard line. Two catches in the first half. Now he's got a third here, and it's good for a first. Cook up the gut, dances by him. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Not too many offenses want to turn down long drives, but when you're down what they are, they've got to pay it off with some points. From the 25, here's second and a couple. Here's Patterson. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. After that run for a first down, I don't know the confidence could be much higher for an offense. They're doing exactly what they want to do on this drive. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. Defensively, though, they had a chance there to hit him for a loss. Couldn't get it done. Looked like someone was able to knife into the backfield, but he wasn't able to get him down. But his compatriots, they were able to grab him at the line of scrimmage and not let him get any further downfield. And Young's throw there incomplete. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And the Panthers are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Cook is into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. Well, he'd been the workhorse on this drive, and it would have been unfair to bring someone else in to finish the job. So they go back to him again, and he delivers with a touchdown run. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. 
And they're back with it, a touchdown at 21-14. The Carolina kick team is out there, ready to go, and they kick this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, they still have the lead despite their defense giving up a touchdown on the previous possession. And even though they have that lead, it feels like a back and forth ball game where to try to get momentum back, maybe they need at least three here on this drive. I think you're right about that, Brandon, because your game plan doesn't change. I do believe your urgency does because of the last score that went against your team. So what you want to do now is have your own drive and try and make sure that that momentum stays in your camp. Two and now on first down. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. And that's one of those plays where it's hard to keep two eyes on the football when you know the contact's coming let alone getting two hands around it, hugging it to your body, and absorbing the hit, even for those big tight ends who you would think could absorb that contact. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. And now another thrown incomplete. And that's a really good job there defensively. They went into this possession knowing that they needed to get a stop. They're in a tight ball game and they got it done. Great work to force the three and out. Got the football right back for their offense. They've got to go to the sidelines feeling pretty good about themselves and encouraging their offensive mates to get some points. It's a 40-yard punt, six yards on the return, and it will be the Panthers' ball first and ten. This Carolina offense at the line, ready to go. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown. And the last time I look and repeat that, Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Looking to throw, Young. He's got Patterson on the out route. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there, fourth and three. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he's on the punt for Carolina. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. It'll be a 39-yard punt, no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. Two in the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at about the 32. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. They gave up the completion there, but this is what zone defenses count on. Catching the ball and not much run after the catch. Now Tua. He's going to get this one out to his fullback. And he will lose yardage back to the 34-yard line. It'll go down as a two-yard loss, and it brings up a third down. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. Looking to pass. Tua. And going deep for Hill. And unable to connect. Incomplete. Now give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll come on to kick this one away. This is taken at the 18. It's a 45-yard punt, but a decent return there of nine yards. And the Panthers will take over now, first and ten. The Panthers' offense here, they get ready to head back on the field. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And 
As you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Back now in Miami. It's the Panthers in possession of the football but facing a deficit here as we get to the fourth and final quarter of play. They go play action. Young. That is taken in by Hurst. Down the sideline he goes. He may go. On the move past the 40. And did he get in? No. Down at the one-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 69 yards. Oh, how about this call down near the goal line? And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Cordero Patterson. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Panthers are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And an important one that is as we are all tied now early in this fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Dolphins offense now ready to go back out onto the field. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Setting to throw on first down is Tua. That's into the hands of Chosen. It'll be a game of 10 to start the drive out and by a few inches. That'll be a first down. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. But despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. Well, Brandon, we could see that play developing, and they were hoping that he was going to be able to put a move on the first guy and turn it into a big play. But no such luck. The speed on defense continues to get better and better in the NFL. Pretty nice example there of those guys being able to run from their assignments and finish off that play. And this offense on third down today, they've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and nine. Here's Tua. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers' 38-yard line. Excellent play there on third down. Give them 25 yards. I'll tell you, far from ideal conditions to play in, but neither offense has had much trouble. Plenty of points to go around. First and 10. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Shaq tops it on the tackle that time. That result, really no surprise. That's what we're coming accustomed to with this number one ranked rush defense. And you study the game. Does this bring back a few memories? Maybe the 85 Bears trying to move the ball against them, 2,000 Ravens. Heck, how about the late 60s, early 70s purple people leaders, the Minnesota Vikings. Hard to move the ball against those types of teams. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And now third down and six to go. Tua sets up to pass it. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 18. 17 yards is the pick up there for number 17. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. They go back to the ground game with H.A. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. It's a loss of two. Brings up second and 12 at the 19-yard line. Again, it's A-Chain. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. Well, that's how you get right up off of the map because on the last play, they stoned him in the backfield and dropped him for a loss. But he's the type of guy that scared me a little bit because he's not daunted. Just got right back up, showed some confidence, and picked up a first down with his very next run. 
Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. Now first and goal. Here's Tua. And they'll run here with A.J. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Devon A.J. with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year. And the Dolphins answer back with a touchdown of their own to break our tie and take the lead here in the fourth. They get one more as the extra points up and good. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now it's Patterson. Now it's Patterson. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So now Young and the Panthers down 28-21. A minute 53 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. You know what I like about that play? He didn't try to do too much on first down. He took what the defense gave him, put together a solid game to bring up second and manageable. Now they have a couple of plays to pick up just a few yards and a new set of downs. Young's throw taken in by Chark. Here's Young. Pass complete, first. They drive some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Young. Flushed out right. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. Short game, short game. That's two points. Who do you think's excited about that? Absolutely. This defense are saying go right ahead with those. Young to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And yeah, he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. I did like his decision making there to make sure they picked up something instead of forcing the throw. Now they've got more manageable play coming up to try and pick up the first down. And don't rule out the possibility that he just keeps it and runs again. Open man there is Patterson complete. Now the Panthers going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now Young, flush to his right. Now he'll let it go deep right side. And it's caught. It's a touchdown. So they rally here in the final minute, and they're an extra point away from tying this game. And what a throw that was, Charles. You think about the situation, close game, fourth quarter, rookie quarterback, he doesn't seem phased one bit. So much for Bright Lights, Big City, and will he wilt? Not at all. The stage not too big, the moment not too big at all. They need a point in that series, and not only did he produce a touchdown drive, but how about finishing it off with a big play that only adds to the momentum that they've already established. And it is caught. They got the two points, and with it, they've taken the lead. And boy, you want to talk about guts. Guts is going for two when you're down one in that spot right there. Do they not trust their kicker? Did they not feel that it was time to go ahead and do that? Or did they just say, we've got a play on that we're so confident in, we're going to go ahead and do it? I'm going to say they're going to say that in the press conference. All right, come on. Throwing to a... Got a man and he hits him in stride. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Tua. And that is incomplete. So 17 seconds now on the clock here. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. Now Tua. 
incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. Two-minute drills, they're tough enough, pressure-packed enough, and these elements makes it significantly tougher. And you don't have the margin where you can say, okay, I can allow for certain things and maybe change up a little bit. Because it's a two-minute situation, you've got to try and make the same plays you would make if the elements didn't exist. They run for it. A chain. And they will get the conversion on fourth down to stay alive, but time, not an ally. Tua. This one thrown underneath to A chain. Oh, look at the juke. Finding room at midfield. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. They'll come up first and ten here. One final try for Tongue of Iloa. This for all the marbles. And that is going to be incomplete. Boy, they got the tip they were looking for but couldn't secure it. And this one's over. What a game we were treated to in this one. And then on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play. Get PlayStation.